Uh, the goose is loose. Desktop goose is now available for Mac OS. So get it now and watch this video to see how to get rid of it, how to download it and how to make it run. Because Mac will protest and think it's not safe and because closing it is harder than opening it. And you can also configure it and give it commands. The most important thing is how to stop the goose, how to get rid of the goose. For this you can either run the open me to quit desktop goose command, which you will have to unlock in system preferences and then go to security and privacy. And then at the bottom right it will say open anyways for open me to dot 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 goose app and then you will have to confirm and then you will have to enter your password and username so you have to have admin rights on this computer if you want to really do this and then with a slight delay it will finally close but if we start desktop goose again and now again press open me to quit desktop goose it will work after a small delay because my computer is old or there's an easier way to get rid of a goose you just use the command line the terminal so you have to start the terminal app and then you have to type in this command in there. Kill all and then the name of the app, desktop goose. Don't forget the quotes. All right, let's look at how to download and install desktop goose on Mac OS. You go to its website. The link to the website is in the description of this video. It's samperson.itch.io slash desktop dash goose. You can press the download button and then you can make a good donation to the guy or press no thanks just take me to downloads if you don't have any money and then pick the desktop goose for mac download with the apple logo click on the download button wait a little bit it will start downloading and then you will have to find the zip file which is in your download folder you can press show in folder and it might be an unconfirmed download so you might have to tell chrome for example to yes keep this file i trust it Watch my video, is desktop goose a virus, if you're not sure. And then you just double click the zip file and then go into the folder and then double click desktop goose.app. And then it will ask, are you sure it's downloaded from the internet? But yes, you are, because you want a cute little buddy on your screen. And you did download it from samperson.itch.io, didn't you? Safely, from the correct website, not from some scammy website, right? You downloaded it from the correct place. Okay, and then you can use open me to quit desktop goose to evict it. Now it's time to make your goose super powerful. Open the readme mac version file double click it and it will open desktop goose for mac and then uh, picture is in there and here you have special commands to easier get rid of the goose for example and for configuring it so as shown before open the terminal app so you can configure it you can simply copy and paste some of the example commands for example default write net dot named fork dot desktop goose space frame rate space 30 uh, make sure to keep the case. So if F is big, you have to type it big. And uh, I set it to 10, but I'm not sure this actually does anything. I have a feeling that this particular setting might not work very well. You can also change other settings, like for example, can attack at random, which is by default no. Set it to yes, and then the duck might be extra aggressive after that. That ought to be cool. There's also Apple Script support, but this is not how you use it. You would have to start the Apple Script app. But really, most importantly, is the kill all uh, command. Kill all, quote, desktop goose, quote, uh, with a space between desktop and goose. Subscribe to this channel for you, all your goose needs. Give this video a like, and I will see you in the next video. Hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if you have issues. Ciao!